This is it, a can't-miss game, and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago, and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage. What a prospect. Don't move a muscle. The excitement is coming up next on EA TV. say it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue craven cottage by the banks of the thames my name is derek ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is stuart robson and we've got premier league action coming right up it's fulham versus brighton and hove albion well derek as is always the case the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game and that for me is the area that's key today and a useful cross and it didn't happen for them in attack. Well back! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, they're playing the same shape, really, so it's all about getting control of that central area and which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game. Crossing opportunity. Well, no danger now. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, we know his movement is very clever, but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems. He's got great pace, he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers, and nobody can recover. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Castagna. And on the ball, Kearney. Tim Ream. Tom Kearney. Chance to do damage. Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. Joel Feldman. Promising looking ball. Oh, it almost did the trick for them. Great defending. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Robinson. Raul Jimenez. Pereira. Oh, fine stop. An example of a goalkeeper in top form here. Pedro. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Pedro. And read with it. There to take it away. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well back. Well, that's the sign of a well organized defense. Isa Diop. Pereira on the ball, Diop. And now William coming into it. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well back. 
Oh, he's through here. That is how to keep it out of the net. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Who can they pick out? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Palinha. And Reed with it. Well, inching towards half time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Tom Kearney. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Well, there it is. Half time. The first half is in the history books here at Craven Cottage. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Take it away. Pereira. Dunk. Kaoru Mitoma. On to Gilmore. And showing fine vision. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. A running room in the wide position. And a useful cross. The cross was very much on, but not the end result they were hoping for. Billy Gilmore. Joao Pedro. Really good challenge. Joao Pedro. Van Hecke. It's with Welbeck. Well, they keep passing away. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And Brighton have it back now. Estupinian. Chance to cross, and ready to strike. Now well, a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Time for a change then. Chance. 
Tom Kearney. Issa Diop. And on the ball, Kearney. Gilmore. Dunk. Well, when you have the lead, you can play in this manner, keeping the ball like this. Pervis Estupinian. Twenty minutes remaining. Palinha. And Palinha with it. And on the ball, Kearney. Promising looking ball. Kearney. On to Willian. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Welbeck. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Feldman, well back in the middle, still not clear. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Pedro. Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. Now, hold on, Stuart, they're in here. Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Promising-looking attack. Well, thumped clear. High pressing and good high pressing. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.